A snow troopers, a little re-edit from last summer. Yeah, yeah, North, North Mountain, Mountain wasn't looking like out your back door, door. come out. <laughs>
Yeah, That's we've had, good we've had 57 on the GPS. Really? So I see you guys have two different styles of boards here. Um, what? You have a, what is Actually, this one called, this Tad? This is, a, this is a Land Yachts Evo. It's a carbon fiber Evo. Yeah, and this is a drop down yeah. deck. And, and this is a drop through deck with his top mounting. <laughs> he's got the trucks mounted on top. You can put okay. the trucks so they go through the board. Uh -huh. It lowers it down a little lower. And this one here is just a top mount. And that one's just a top mount. And so is there an advantage to one versus the other? Yeah, and you kind of trade stability for leverage and like ease of turning. Yeah, so basically that board's really, really stable, whereas the board like top mount, which is what we figured out, is more of a, a cornering, a little more traction. Hand corners a little yeah, tighter. So you can get a little more excess speed in corners. Yeah, it kind of depends on who's riding it though. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Technique matters when like, you ride. Also every year, uh, John Osmond of Volcanic Productions puts on the Mary Hill Festival of Speed, which is an international longboard race. You get about 160 riders that come out there from a bunch of different countries, and it's five days of just bombing hills and racing tight. When is that held? September, September. 2nd through the 6th this year. Well, hopefully we'll see you guys there. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we'll it's also there. really illegal to skate Mary Hill, and there's other organized events, so you have to uh, check into the museum and knock them down. Riding that, that permit. Got it. All right, guys, thanks and be safe. You better know.